Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel. Uh, I wanted to make a quick commentary today that if the news media was real, it would look more like YouTube. And what I mean by that, you would get a whole bunch of different stuff instead of the uh, news media with its controlled opposition, faux opposition. You would get more things. When, when if you ever looked up like media parroting videos on YouTube, you you should. They're hilarious. It's just like every newscaster from all over the country regurgitating the exact same lines from the teleprompters. Um, the news hasn't been real for a very long time. It may have not ever been really real. It could have just always been politically agended and whatever their motivations are. Uh, they're not so much trying to tell you how to think as they are trying to tell you what to think about. So they create problems. They create, well, the illusion of a problem. And then it actually generates the problem because that's what everybody starts thinking about. Um, so they do it with uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, when you think about this Zika virus, uh, latest news thing that they keep going on on about. Is it really as bad as they make it sound? Sometimes uh, they uh, do things like this constantly and, and they've gotten caught. I uh, think before 9-11. Before 9-11, uh, the news media was um, um, just blanket coverage about shark attacks. But in, in, in fact, uh, there were no more shark attacks than normal. Yet they made it seem like the problem existed. With the Zika thing, I find it uh, really interesting that it then, uh, after they started with this campaign, uh, then it became focused on Brazil to the point where some female reporters now, uh, one pregnant one wasn't going to go down there. Um, and then I started to remember that uh, Brazil got the Olympics in uh, uh, Obama was supposed to get the Olympics for Chicago, but he lost it to Brazil. And, uh, you know, I have to wonder whether or not this is some kind of propagandist uh, revenge for uh, losing the Olympics to Brazil. Um, because some of these numbers here just seem like, if you read, I'll link to this, but it just seems like it's blown a little bit out of proportion. So maybe there's something to it not being anywhere near as more worse than it normally is. Just another generated fear campaign. But back to the news media. I, I really do believe that news media, if it was real, would look a lot more like um, YouTube. It would be the verse. Why should I tune into, uh, let's say in America here, NBC News and then go to CBS and, and see basically the same stuff. And you think you, you have some kind of difference with Fox News? You really don't. Uh, isn't it interesting that Fox News came into existence just at the right time? Because, um, let's face it, folks, the Internet was going to do away with the regular news media. They were going to completely be destroyed. Now, all of a sudden, there's an, op op uh, an official opposition to the reg to the, what was the regular news media, which was always corrupt, so now they have this official like uh, opposition, and you have to wonder: is it there simply because without an opposition for people to be attracted to, they would be left with uh, the internet as their opposition? And you get uh, I'm sure there's a lot of fucked up bullshit on the internet, but there's also a lot of people with a lot of innov innovative takes on things, innovative thinking about things, and um, uh, I think it would have eventually just done away with the regular news media, so they created an opposition to uh, that they control to give us something to uh, believe in, and, um, you know, I, 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 why should reporters not have completely different takes on things if they were genuinely, genuine people doing uh, real news reporting? How could so many reporters think alike? Don't they have any of their own thoughts, opinions? Shouldn't they be all over the place? Shouldn't we be getting like 
completely different viewpoints from all different news channels if the news was real, but we're not. So they just want you to think about what they want you to think about, and that keeps you from thinking about other things. Whether or not it's the color of a dress, um, a sudden bathroom issue that's come up lately, uh, the Zika virus, fear, um, con they just that's what they promote, fear and division. And it's really not about news at all. So there are some real, you know, wacky stuff that you find on YouTube. But um, there's a lot of good stuff here. A lot better than TV most of the time. All right. See you guys later. Bye.